What's up guys, my name is Forrest Knight and we're going to talk about programming languages today. We're going to be looking at the fastest growing programming languages as well as the best within open source software as well as the most in demand languages in the industry. The ranking system started with a list of 300 languages that were taken from GitHub but through searching on Twitter and Google searches and trends, searching on Reddit and searching on Hacker News, we were able to narrow that down to 48 programming languages. Now to make it easier, I'm gonna give the top 20 of each chart, but I will include the link in the description so you can go check out the charts on your own. I know I'm kind of talking like I created these rankings, but I did not. I, E, 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 Spectrum, or IEEE Spectrum, were the ones who created the software in order to gather all these languages and rank them properly. I'm taking these rankings with a grain of salt because I don't agree with everything that's on these rankings and charts, so y'all should do the same. But it definitely gives us a better idea of where languages are ranked compared to other languages within specific realms. We're gonna start off looking at the IEEE all around spectrum ranking. The top four languages in the all around ranking is also the top four for the other three charts that we're gonna be looking at, which is C, C++, Java, and Python. With Go ranking at number 10, and Swift at number 11, beating out Objective C, which is at number 18. Not 18, 20, it's at number 20. And yes, you may have noticed there are imperfections in these rankings because they included Arduino. And as we know, Arduino is merely a set of C or C++ functions that can be called out of your code. So if it was me creating these rankings, I would not include Arduino, nor would I include HTML. I understand why they included HTML, and that's because it's used widely within the industry, but I mean, come on, really? You're gonna include HTML? All right, let's get on to the next one. We just took a look at the all around ranking. Now let's go to a more specific one, the trending rankings, which this is a ranking system for the fastest and greatest growing programming languages. And as I said before, all the charts have the same top four programming languages. But would you look at that? Swift has bumped up to the number five spot. And I can definitely agree with that because Swift, as new a language it is, it was created by Apple, iOS and Mac OS X development is very big right now and it is definitely a quick growing language. Now, some people out there may be saying that Swift is the fastest growing language, but I'd like to remind everybody thinking that, that Swift is only used in iOS and Mac OS X, while C, C++, Python, and Java are used in a much wider market. But I do agree that Swift is growing very quickly. I entered the scene of iOS development just before Swift hit the market. So I was learning Objective-C, I wasn't all that great at it, and then boom, Swift hit the market. So I figured why not go ahead and learn Swift? Of course they're gonna make tweaks here and there, and that's something that will come with a new language, but it is definitely one that is struggling to eclipse Objective-C, but I believe will definitely take down Objective-C in the near future within iOS and OSX development. But let's not forget why Objective-C is the iOS and OSX preferred language. Now behind Swift, of course, and that is because it was chosen as a main language by Next for the Next Step operating system. And for those of you unfamiliar with Next, Steve Jobs founded it after he resigned from Apple back in 1985, I believe. Now this next chart is my personal favorite because it's very helpful to people like me. I am a computer science student, I'm about to enter the industry and it's helpful for me because this is a chart of the most in demand languages by employers. And as you see, trailing the main four languages is JavaScript and C Sharp. Those are definitely the languages I would have guessed to come after the main four within the industry because I hear about people using JavaScript all the time. C Sharp, maybe not as much as I hear about C++, Java, Python, but it is definitely up there with them. And I am happy to see that MATLAB made the top 20 at number 18. 
MATLAB is used a lot within many companies, two in particular that I am very familiar and interested in being NASA and SpaceX. So if you want to get a job at a place like that, be sure to learn MATLAB. Now if you really want to get your creative juices flowing, take a look at this chart. This is the open source programming languages chart. The same four at the top and with Swift coming in at number five. I can confirm this, there have been a lot of Swift repositories popping up on GitHub and whatnot within the past couple years of that it's been out. And of course there's going to be a lot of C++ and Python out there as well. If you want to learn some language that n like nobody else knows about but you and maybe a couple friends know about, you will find some sort of project to contribute to within the open source world with whatever language you want to learn. If there's not a particular project that sparks your interest, you can go ahead and create your own and I guarantee there are people who are in the same position as you and really like what you just created and they will contribute to yours. There's no other feeling like someone else coming, liking your project that you created from scratch and contributing to it to make it better. It is an amazing feeling. So to recap, C, C++, Python, and Java in whatever order. At least one of those languages you should know if you're out there looking for a job, even if you're in open source, or if you just want to stay relevant with the times. Because although these are old languages, they are good languages. They are tried and true. They're not going to be changed a lot with a lot of updates like Swift or like Go or like Dart. So you should definitely learn at least one of these languages. And you know, if you learn C++, it's very easy to pick up on Java or C, and Python is even easier. But although languages like Swift are being updated and changed a little bit here and there, I would not sleep on those fast risers. I could definitely see Swift seizing more of the industry's mind share in the coming years. So at the end of every video, I'm going to try to have a question of the day. So today's question of the day is, do you agree or disagree with these rankings? Comment your answer below. If you disagree, please tell me why you disagree. And if you agree, tell me why you agree. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and took something away from it. And if that's the case, be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe because that really helps me out. Have a good one.